<laughs> and presentation is open for discussion. Yes. You mentioned that this is kind of applicable to the NMR spectroscopy. Yes. But then you were also talking about, like initially, I think you said it several times, that you talk about spin of an electron. What is used in NMR? What kind of spin they use? Is it for electrons or for something different? Might have confused them there. But the important part is that. Uh, so, so uh, it doesn't change the overall, I'll say, physics and uh, formulas which you were showing. Algebraic processing. In an atom, are there anything else spin which has spin? Or it's only electrons which do have spin? It's what about protons? All uh, elementary particles and quarks have spin. However, in the nucleus of an atom, they believe they are counteracting. Is proton a fermion or not? No. Pro a proton? A single proton? Yes. <laughs> proton is a fermion, right? But if, if, yes. if you agree me, if you talk about nucleus, right, it depends on whether you have even or odd numbers and they might be not fermions. So in NMR, it's the same idea, but my understanding is that they talk about the spin of the nucleus. Spin of the protons. So, in, in your talk, you can uh, replace only one letter if you want to speak about electrons instead of NMR or EPR. EPR, yes. Okay. More questions to Steven? If not, then thank you once again. <laughs> <laughs>